Hey y'all. So uh, yesterday I posted a video doing the image transfer technique with my uh, VersaTool by Walnut Hollow. It's my wood burner. And I told you guys that I was going to do a tutorial on how I made this happen. So I drew this on my iPad this morning and I printed it out with my laser printer. In order to make this technique work, you do have to have a laser printer or use a copier. It has to have toner ink, so an inkjet printer will not work. So now I'm going to put this face down on my piece of wood. And I'm going to take my wood burner and start transferring the image. So since this is in real time, it does take a little bit um, for it to transfer on there. So this is how you do it. You just kind of go back and forth. You can go in circles. You can go up and down. Um, you do have to be careful not to get the image transfer tip on the piece of wood itself because it will wood burn it. And that is learned from experience, y'all. But here we go. So we're just going to do this. Kind of go all over the outline and then I'm going to check and see where we are. Let's see here. And it is starting to transfer. So sometimes as you can see when I first started this project that it was a very very hot burn because it started changing the paper colors. So sometimes after you use the image transfer tip for a little bit it does cool down because it is such a wide surface. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just let my transfer tip rest for a quick second and get warm again, because it kind of speeds the process up a little bit. All right, so we're gonna start back at it again. I did check the bottom part of this where it's not quite so dark and it has not even began to transfer yet. So I'm going to keep going over it. I'm gonna show you guys my heat dial is all the way up to red. This is where I keep my dial for most of my projects until I start working on shade work and then I will adjust it down to the orange or the darker yellow. Just depends on the type of materials I'm working with. Alright, so I am going to give this a check. We're starting to get somewhere, y'all. So one of the things that I do like about doing this technique is that it's still hand drawn by me. Um, it's you know hand or it could be hand lettered by me. Uh, so it's still my project from start to finish. And I'm actually going to be sharing with y'all how I drew this on my iPad Pro with my Apple Pencil. Um, but this is just another way to get your images on the wood slice. Normally, I do um, hand draw on the piece of wood with pencil. And this just allows me to do it without having to make sure that I don't have any lines to erase. Uh, and my image is just already transferred over there and then I could wood burn over it. All right, so now I'm going to peel back what we have. And here is our image transferred. And here's what it looks like. My heat setting for this project is on the highest heat setting. All right, here we go, guys. There we are. All right, y'all, so now I'm going to start applying the wood burning to my transferred image, and then I will be adding watercolor to both of these. We've got a peony and a hydrangea today. So the next part of this process is to now wood burn our little design, and I have changed to 
the flow point. It looks like this. And I chose this point because my lines are a little bit thicker for my drawing, but I will be changing to my mini flow to get those cute little details after we're done with the outline. A very slow and steady process. You definitely don't want to rush any part of this. All right, so now we are going to add the watercolor. I'm going to go ahead and wet the area that I'm going to watercolor first, just so the colors that I put on here will mix together nicely. So we got a little bit of green. And then I'm going to go back in and add a light green. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit of the dark green again. Let those mix together. Okay, so my favorite peony color is the light pink. So that is my objective. I'm gonna be blending a couple of different pinks together and just seeing what colors come out. But my objective is to stay within the realm of the light pink. So we are gonna add our color, our water, so the colors will blend nicely. And here we go. And I'm going to add a little bit of a darker shade of pink. And here is the final product. Super cute. 